today we will start topic 2d transformation basically transformation means to convert or to change the image basically a graphic system must allow the user to change the way object appears in real world we look the object at different angles or we rearrange that object the computer should also do the same for that some implementation is required means we can change the image of the object we can rotate that object or we can change the position of that object so implementing this change is called as transformation basically transformation is changing or allowing the modification to the picture and transformation is categorized as general transformation and spatial transformation as it is categorized as general transformation and spatial transformation so before starting we should required the mathematical tools means change in the image are done fo with following mathematical operations so for that we will require matrix multiplication so we should have idea about matrix multiplication so so now we will continue with general transformation under general transformation there are scaling rotation and third and last one is translation it comes under general transformation now we will briefly study what is scaling what is rotation and what is translation scaling scaling means either enlarging or reducing the original figure means with respect to original one so scaling is defined as enlarging or reducing the figure and standard scaling matrix is given as s equal to sx 0 0 Zero S Y zero 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 one. This is standard scaling matrix. Means, for keeping in mind, we all know what is identity matrix. Just replacing one by S X, but we don't we don't have to replace in last row and last column because it is an identity matrix. In all root all transformation, the last row and last column is always one. So. Sx means scaling along x direction, and Sy means scaling along y direction. So there are three cases with reference to scaling. First is if Sx or Sy is greater than one, then the figure is enlarged if sx or sy is equal to 1 then the comment is same means figure has not changed third sx or sy is less than 1 then it is a reduced figure so now we'll take a example means how scaling is done Consider a square. Now here I am enlarging means original figure dimension is two by two and uh, new figure dimension is six by six. Since it is square, sides are equal. The formula for S X is. new figure in x direction upon original figure in x direction similarly for sy new figure 
in y direction upon original figure in y direction so this is a formula for calculating scaling both x as well as y direction in rotation transformation we either move object either clockwise or anti clockwise for example if we'll consider this object if it is in this position we'll move it this direction means we are moving anti clockwise by 90 degree similarly if we'll move in this direction means we are moving in clockwise direction and angle is 90 degree so we will do with this that only the standard rotation matrix is r is equal to cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 and now sign convention for theta for anti clockwise direction the sign is positive for a clockwise direction the sign of theta is negative so we should keep in mind the sign convention for rotation transformation now third and last one is translation transformation in translation means moving from one point to another linearly means if we'll consider a point will move tx which is denoted as tx means translating along x direction if we will if we will move in upward direction that is ty that is translating along y direction means we will move linearly that is now sign convention if we are moving in positive direction then tx is taken as positive if we are moving in this direction then ty is taken as positive so this sign convention we have to keep in mind now the standard translation matrix which is given by t is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 tx ty 1 okay now the comment is that tx is having some unit because we are translating in some direction means which we have some unit so it has unit but in the case of scaling scaling is unitless parameters means we can call it as ratio also or factor also so while solving problem we should not get confused that unit is not given or factor is given so scaling is sx equal to we took this we took this example where two which is scaling is done along x direction this is 6 which scaling is done in x direction but difference is that it is new figure and this one is original figure which means that sx equal to 6 upon 2 means it will have some unit we will uh, mention at unit so 2 ones are 2 threes are means is unit and unit also get cancel which means that sx is unitless means it is a factor or it can also be called as ratio so we should keep in mind while solving the problems